Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, we're gonna go over the different LinkedIn ad formats. So I'm gonna show you examples of the 11 different ad formats that you can run in LinkedIn ads. And I pulled all these examples from my LinkedIn feed and also a couple from the LinkedIn ads library. So I will put the link for the LinkedIn ads library in the description. This allows you to search on company names and keywords along with the country and the date. So you can get inspiration here for different um, ads, and then you can also view what your competitors are doing. And I'll also drop this link in the description. This shows you all the different ad formats. And depending on the objective that you're gonna run, the ad formats will vary. So you can see what ad formats are available under the different objectives. And then you can click on these and get the ad specs. So in the future, I will go into more in depth on actually creating these in Campaign Manager. But today we're just gonna review what the different creatives look like. So the first ad format is the single image ads. These have an introductory text at the top, and then the creative, then the headline, and a standard call to action that you can select. They do get a lot of the inventory within the LinkedIn ads feed, so you will see a lot of single image ads in the LinkedIn feed. And for a lot of the strategies I work with my clients, we, we use the single image ad format. You can see here, a lot of times it's like a headline, a subheadline, the logo and a call to action. This is a testimonial based ad. We have a few others here. I call the action on this one with a headline. So there's multiple ways you can approach it, but just wanted to show you what it looks like here. And for the next ad, we're gonna take a look at the videos. So videos are very similar to single image ads. They have, again, the introductory text, the headline, and a call to action. And you can have different lengths of videos. For my clients, I've seen very long videos and short videos both perform well. Depends on the, the remarketing and prospecting strategy that you have in place that can impact things and what kind of content you're showing. But there's, um, they're pretty straightforward in terms of how, how to set them up. So that's what video ads look like. Legion forms. Legion forms, so very similar. Again, they have the introduction text here. They have the creative, a headline, and then the call to action is centered here. And once you click the call to action, it's gonna pull up the form natively within LinkedIn. So Legion forms don't take the user off of LinkedIn. They keep them on LinkedIn so they can fill out a form and you can have it auto-populate and add in different fields. So this is uh, an example of when I click the call to action for request a demo. This is what the pop-up uh, Legion form looks like. Here's just other examples of some Legion forms. You can see call to action here, download, get a quote. So again, depending on the strategy and where users are in the funnel, you might have different call to actions there, different content you're promoting on a Legion form. Carousel ads, pretty straightforward, similar to single image ads. You can have each card, you can have a headline there and then a description at the top and users can click and uh, see more cards. So this is the, the creative here. And then if you click, there's additional cards. Here's another example of how it looks. And then if you click on it, you'll continue to see other cards. Text ads, text ads, they tend to not get clicked a lot and they receive a lot of impressions. They show on desktop and usually on the right side of the, the feed. And these make up with a headline and a description and a square image. So I use these a lot in the remarketing strategies with my clients and uh, push out a lot of different variations of it. It's always good, another good touch point if you're doing retargeting to um, get in front of your, the users that already engage with your content at a pretty low cost way. So yeah, some examples of what those look like there. Conversation ads. So conversation and message ads are very similar. Uh, conversation ads allow you to have multiple call to actions. So you can also have a dynamic where it pulls in the name and the message and in this example, I clicked book a demo and it pulled out the Legion form. So you can see here, I pulled these examples from the ad library. You can see there's multiple call to actions and you can have, if you, if you click call to action, you can have it branch off and uh, continue to add in information there or have it pull up a Legion form or direct somewhere. So that's what those look like in message ads, similar, but they just have one call to action and um, they won't have multiple call to actions like a conversation ad. So you can test both uh, formats there. And again, depending on where you're at and what kind of strategy you're running, cold prospecting or retargeting, that can impact on how you set these up as well and what kind of what content you put in the message. Follower ads are pretty straightforward. They're a dynamic ad. You can see in this example, they pulled in my first name and really it's just to get users to, to follow a, a company um, page. Again, pulling in the, the name here dynamically. And 
There are other call to actions if you're running a follower ad and someone already follows you, you can have them see a different call to action other than follow. Um, but another one that's somewhat similar are spotlight ads. So these, you have a, a custom call to action here. And again, these are dynamic where it's pulling in the profile image and uh, you can have the first name pulled in here and a few different ways you can you know use the spotlight ads, which are good also in the re retargeting phase to continue to stay in front of people. And then next we have event ads. So event ads, you have the event that you're promoting on LinkedIn. A user can click view event and they'll go to the event page. They can click attend, click register and have a lead form pop up. So um, great way if you're promoting an event, a webinar, that's how they look and that's how they're viewed. They have the, the date, time, um, what the event is, a call to action, some introductory text and then the image there. And then the last one is the single job ad. So this is gonna just show an ad, uh, a job that you're promoting. Pretty straightforward, um, some text there and then the job on there. So if you're doing things on the recruitment side, um, that's one approach you can take is a single job ad. So those are all of the ad formats. Again, there's a, quite a few different ones. So you go here and take a look and pause the video and get some inspiration or go again to the LinkedIn ads library and get some inspiration and view what your competitors are doing. It's great on the LinkedIn ads library. You can see message ads as well. If you have any questions on the ad formats, please put them in the uh, comment section below and I'd be happy to answer them. And in the future, again, I'll put some more in-depth videos on creating these and creating assets for these different um, for ad formats. Yeah, stay tuned for that. And if you would like, you can subscribe and I'll get those videos out in the future. So thanks for watching and have a great day.